New tonight, Congressman-elect George Santos just wrapped up his first nationally televised interview since it was revealed he lied to voters. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas joins us now with yet another twist in the story. Tim. Yeah, that's for sure, Dick. Santos says he remains committed to serving his district as he faces calls to resign from some soon-to-be constituents. He just claimed in this Fox News interview he is, quote, not a fraud and not fake, but not everyone's convinced. I made a mistake. And I think humans are flawed, and we all make mistakes. The mistake Santos refers to? <laughs> falsely telling voters, among other things, he earned a college degree and worked for Citigroup. In order to move past this and move forward and be an effective member of Congress, I have to face my mistake. But when the interviewer, former Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, asked Santos if he had no shame, he quickly tried to deflect. I can say the same thing about the Democrats and, and the party. Look at Joe Biden. Joe Biden's been lying to the American people. The congressman-elect once described himself as a proud American Jew. Today, the Republican Jewish Coalition said Santos, quote, deceived us and misrepresented his heritage, and he will not be welcome at any future RJC event. Tonight, Santos tried to defend what he said. My heritage is Jewish. I've always identified as Jewish. I was raised a practicing Catholic. I think I've gone through this. While some House Democrats are calling on Santos to resign, GOP leadership hasn't commented. Former Republican Congressman Peter King told CBS2 today he thinks Santos should be investigated but should not resign. Obviously he went beyond almost anything anyone has done before, but it's not a crime. He should be sworn in, but after that there should be an immediate investigation. As for the claim that he worked for Citigroup and Goldman Sachs, Santos tried to explain that too, claiming he worked indirectly with the firms while employed by another company. We can debate my my resume and how I worked with firms such as Goldman Sachs. Is it Citigroup debatable or is it long. just false? But, uh, no, it's not false at all. It's it's debatable. Again, his, cam we his campaign website, I should say, falsely said he was a, quote, associate asset manager in the real estate division for Citigroup. That was first reported by the New York Times, Dick. Tim, there are so many questions in this case still unanswered, right? Yeah, that's right. A lot more. Uh, the, another news outlet, the Jewish American news site Forward, questioned Santos's claim that his grandparents survived the Holocaust. It said records appear to show his, grandpar his grandparents were born in Brazil. I think we have a long way to go in this one. That's for sure. All right. Thanks very much, Tim.